If you've heard of Lake Tahoe before, you probably know it for its sunny slopes, stunning views, and easy Bay Area access. But the region is also home to some of the most insane skiing in the world, with formidable lines, obstacles, and cliff drops that will leave even the most tenured skiers and riders bulking. There's a reason why some of the most legendary snow sports icons ever have come from this region. But while there's no doubt that Tahoe as a whole has plenty for experts, not all of its mountains are created equal. So which ones are best for pushing yourself to the limit, and which plainly aren't? In this video, we'll rank Tahoe's major ski resorts in order of their overall experience for expert level guests, and we'll give you a sense of what each of these mountains does well at and fall short in for the most daring individuals. If you find this information helpful, be sure to like and subscribe and sign up for our newsletter for exclusive content you won't see in our videos. And special thanks to The Daily Spam for providing several of the gnarly shots in this video. You can check out his channel in the description below. With that all being said, let's jump in. Coming in at the bottom of this list, we have North Star, a resort that's not fully lacking for challenge, but delivers a much less technical experience than its destination Tahoe brethren. Let's start with the positives, and there are a couple. North Star's backside and lookout mountain zones host some long, demanding mogul runs, although anywhere between a third to half of these tend to be groomed depending on the day. And the resort's woods are home to some awesome steep glades, with plenty of tree terrain across the sizable footprint. But there are no double black diamond runs at North Star, and there's a reason for that. The resort is not even worth going to for any serious expert, and while the most challenging runs are steep and somewhat long, none of them can offer truly precipitous pitches. Assuming reasonable conditions, advanced level skiers and riders should be able to handle pretty much everything at the resort. Recently, the expert experience has unfortunately gotten worse than it already had been. Up until 2022, the most technical pitch at the resort was arguably the corridor run down the Comstock Express lift line, which included some rocks, tree stumps, and narrow segments where quick decision making was required. But when they replaced the Comstock quad with a six pack, they combined corridor with a much wider grouse alley run, effectively removing a lot of the technicality. North Star has some great glades and a large footprint, but for experts, you can essentially write it off for your next Tahoe trip. North Star already has enough crowds, so if double black diamonds are your preferred method of downhill travel, we recommend you leave this resort to the Bay Area families. Next up we have Diamond Peak, a resort that's much smaller than the other resorts on this list, but not entirely lacking in challenge. Diamond Peak's Tahoe adjacent 400 acre skiable footprint is heavily vertically oriented, and while it does feature a few solid mogul runs, like North Star, this lake adjacent resort stands out for its woods. As long as snow conditions allow, all of Diamond Peak's fairly steep upper mountain is skiable as glade terrain, and depending on the base, the trees can host significant hidden obstacles such as rocks. Much of Diamond Peak's footprint will be doable for advanced skiers and riders, but the resort cements itself clearly above North Star for experts thanks to its Solitude Canyon Zone. This area often takes months to accumulate enough snow to open, but once it's good to enter, it features steep, narrow lines across numerous obstacles such as rocks, tree stumps, and cliffs. Most of Solitude Canyon can be directly lapped via the Crystal Lift, but a few of the uppermost lines require a brief hike. So Diamond Peak may not be as tough as the resorts higher up on this list, but at least when conditions allow, it does offer some truly expert-oriented terrain that should at least keep tenured visitors busy for a while. As the closest ski resort to Lake Tahoe, Homewood is one of the most stunningly beautiful ski resorts on the continent. But while many of its slopes may seem mellow, Homewood has a wild side to it too. Like with North Star, all of Homewood's truly lift serve slopes are doable for advanced level guests, but if you venture out to the southern reaches of the resort, you'll find Homewood's Quail Face, which not only hosts a consistent, truly expert level pitch of greater than 50 degrees, but does so while providing an extraordinary, almost entirely comprehensive view of Lake Tahoe. Getting both to and from this area requires prolonged traversing, so it's not for those who aren't prepared for a real adventure. But if you can handle the terrain, it's totally worth it. So while Homewood may not offer the same quantity of expert slopes as the resorts higher up on this list, it's worth stopping by for a day exclusively to ski or ride quail face, assuming conditions allow. And while there won't be cliffs or chutes elsewhere on the mountain, the resort's woods and mogul runs will probably be enough to keep tenured guests busy after a hike out from that run.
Next up on this list, we have Sierra at Tahoe, a resort that was historically known for its woods terrain, but has recently seen a massive wildfire caused footprint shift that's turned many of these woods into wide open bulls. But the one area that was chiefly spared from the fire damage was Sierra's Huckleberry Canyon, a terrain zone that hosts what are probably the first truly extreme lines we see on this list. This rock riddled area is crowned by a massive cornice, and if you enter the upper gates of this area, you'll probably have to clear this cornice to get anywhere else on your run. Getting down the Huckleberry Cornice, which does require a very brief hike to reach, mandates tight, technical turns at a minimum, and for particularly adventurous guests, it provides plenty of opportunities for mandatory straight lining or cliff drops when conditions allow. However, Huckleberry Canyon suffers from one substantial downside, it's perennially closed. This area takes tons of snow to fill in, and the resort can go months without opening it, and in some particularly bad seasons, it may not open the canyon at all. But even if the Huckleberry gates are closed, Sierra does offer a couple of expert-oriented trees and bowls in upper mountain areas, with unique boulder formations in the ground that mean the runs down will never be too bland. Sierra at Tahoe's expert terrain is less abundant and reliable than the resorts higher up on this list, but if you get there on the right day, there's no doubt it will be a good time. Next up on this list we have Heavenly, another ski resort that sits immediately adjacent to Lake Tahoe and comes with outstanding views to boot. At a first glance, one could write off Heavenly's challenge footprint as a near carbon copy of North Stars, with most of its footprint offering tough trees and mogul runs, but not much that's too tough to handle for advanced level skiers and riders. But where Heavenly really stands out is at the far northeastern reaches of the resort, where it calls home to the experts only, gate accessed Mott and Kilbrew Canyon areas. Mott Canyon is the shorter and easier access area of the two, but it's still no joke, with every single path down involving very steep, narrow terrain that requires steady composure to complete successfully. Kilbrew Canyon takes everything at Mott Canyon and turns it up a notch, comprising precipitously demanding lines ranging in technicality from expert to truly extreme. Severely tight turns and hidden elements such as rocks are standard, and depending on which gate you enter, you may find yourself facing situations of mandatory straight lining or steep cliff drops, or combinations of both. And if you've just completed one extreme feature, another one can appear within quick succession. Heavenly's expert challenges are much more concentrated than some of its competitors, and in the case of Kilbrew Canyon, the long, time-consuming hikeouts make the area really impractical to lap. And while their north-facing nature helps preserve snow, these areas are subject to somewhat variable openings. But if you're an expert and you find yourself at Heavenly, the resort's hardest terrain zones are a lot tougher than most people give it credit for. If you've made it this far through the video, you can probably agree that there's no better way to have fun during the winter than going on a ski trip. But let's be honest, there are very few things that will make you want to pull your hair out more than planning that trip. Enter Peak Rankings Trips. We can plan your lodging, lift tickets, and even road trip itinerary. To get started, click the link in the description below. Now, back to the video. As the closest ski resort to Reno, Mount Rose tends to attract a budget-conscious, family-oriented crowd from that area. The bulk of the footprint is among the most mellow in Tahoe, with both the front side and Winters Creek backside hosting very little terrain that would qualify above advanced level difficulty. But the challenge level gets a jarring boost when it comes to the Mount Rose Chutes, which are home to some of the most technically pitched terrain in the region. When they're open, these lines are not for the faint of heart, and depending on which path you take, you could end up feeling like the ground has given out entirely below you. You won't be sending 50-foot cliff drops in the chutes, but short sections of straight lining are required on the hardest runs. And these chutes are among the easiest expert runs in Tahoe to lap, with just two lift rides required to get back to any of these runs. However, like several of the other ski resorts we've covered so far, Mount Rose's chutes suffer from variable terrain openings. They won't be closed for the entire season, but these chutes do take a few months to fill in during bad seasons, and if they're closed, Mount Rose's expert terrain openings are essentially nil. The Mount Rose chutes only make up about 10% of the resort's footprint, but they're extensive, accessible, and most importantly, perilous enough to help the resort beat out more than half of its destination competitors. The resorts further up on this list do offer more widespread extremes, but as far as lappable expert challenges go when the chutes are open, you won't go wrong with Mount Rose. Next up on this list we have Sugar Bowl, one of the oldest ski resorts in Tahoe. 
At a first glance, Sugar Bowl doesn't seem like it should belong this high up on a Tahoe expert list. After all, the resort is known for its family-friendly vibe and Disney-influenced history. But tenured experts should not underestimate Sugar Bowl. The resort may not offer the longest vertical drop out there, but its expert terrain is some of the most technical in the region. You have some areas with typical steep pitches and leg-burning moguls, but Sugar Bowl really stands out for its rock-formed extremes, making for cliffs, couloirs, and chutes, even directly off the lifts. Depending on where you end up, prepare for some mandatory straight lining. But like many of the other resorts we've covered so far, a number of Sugar Bowl's expert areas are subject to extremely variable opening schedules. Sugar Bowl's Palisades, not to be confused with those at Palisades Tahoe, host blood-curdlingly extreme terrain, but they're so inconsistently open that the resort fails to drop the rope at all in many seasons. The expert-oriented summit chair also rarely spins, although you can occasionally hike to it. But unlike some of the resorts we've already discussed, at least some variety of seriously technical terrain does tend to open by the course season each year. Sugar Bowl flies more under the radar for experts than some of the other resorts on this list, but if you're looking for a challenge and you want access to extremes that are even easier to lap than Mount Roses, you won't go wrong. As we get into the top two on this list, we start to enter resorts that offer truly copious amounts of drastic terrain. And while Kirkwood may only offer a 2,000 foot vertical drop, its daunting, rock-formed footprint makes it a formidable playground for experts looking to push themselves to the limit. Chutes, couloirs, and cliffs exist across multiple resort areas, and in some cases, these incredibly technical obstacles can materialize in places you'd least expect them. The vast majority of double black diamond runs require either dropping in from a cornice or navigating perilously steep mogul fields at a minimum, and with maybe less effort than what feels is instinctively right, guests can find lines that require prolonged mandatory straight lining or aggressively colossal cliff drops, or a combination of both. So while Kirkwood isn't tall enough to offer true endurance runs, the resort is without a doubt an expert's paradise, with more opportunities to get yourself into profound trouble than all the other mountains we've covered so far by a long shot. But there's one iconic Tahoe ski resort that just can't be beat for its extremes, and if you've been to the region before, you probably already know what it is. Plenty of Tahoe mountains offer impressive expert terrain, but there's no ski resort that does it better than Palisades Tahoe. The resort boasts stunningly extreme inbound slopes, including cliffs, chutes, and couloirs that one could only dream of skiing or riding at your typical resort. But perhaps more importantly, these prohibitively intense slopes span extensive sections of the resort, meaning they're not located in just one or two areas, and provided conditions allowed. Guests will have access to the resort's extremes no matter where on the mountain they find themselves. Palisades Tahoe doesn't have the longest vertical drop, but it's no slouch when it comes to traditional expert runs either. Those who don't want to deal with rocks, mandatory straight lining, or cliff drops can find traditional double black diamond runs all across the mountain. And yes, we do have to note that the resort introduced a double black diamond rating for the first time in 2022, after holding off on doing so for decades. Critically, the expert in extreme terrain at Palisades Tahoe isn't just localized to the bigger and better known Palisades side, but it also has quite the presence on the Alpine Meadows side, which is now physically linked by the base-to-base -base gondola. Alpine Meadows may have a shorter vertical drop than the Palisades side, but its toughest runs are nearly as extreme, meaning guests can find themselves overlooking the same prolonged mandatory straight lines and similar multi-foot cliff drops to those elsewhere at the resort. For the record, if Alpine Meadows were still a separate entity, we'd rank it just below Kirkwood, which we'd say just beats it out in the concentration of extreme level lines. Like other mountains in the region, Palisades Tahoe's expert and extreme terrain offerings do suffer from somewhat variable opening schedules, and during below average snowfall seasons, several of the resort's most daunting routes may not open at all. But if you hit Palisades Tahoe at the right time, the resort has enough catastrophically difficult lines to beat out all the other mountains on this list combined, and it rightfully earns its place as the top expert mountain in the region. So that's our rank order guide for experts in Lake Tahoe. You won't go wrong with many of the mountains in this formidable region, but the best resorts are truly world class, standing out for both the quality and quantity of their hardest terrain. Tahoe may have its problems, but if you're a truly tenured skier or rider, they're probably worth overlooking to get a taste of just what this region has to offer. How do we do? Would you change the order? 
We'd love to hear from you, so if you have any thoughts, be sure to hit us with a comment below. For more information on the Lake Tahoe region in over 90 North American destination ski resorts, check out peakrankings.com. See you for the next one.